Alrighty, so we got this great Praxis here. Um, it's uh, Dax. It is on EWB. It uh, super cheap, just over three hundred million. And uh, I've played around a little bit with you know swapping out like this one for drone damage, or you know laser damage, heat sink, and it actually comes out exactly the same. Between both of these and so you can look at all right which is being more effective um, and actually you know come to think about it so like this is really good for close and I guess if we're using like Praetors or whatnot yeah it's just it's really kind of a wash on which to focus on more uh, so but it works really well and is really cheap and um, it can run the horde sites uh, it uh, you know maybe it's shield rep is just a little bit light in there and you wouldn't necessarily want to brawl those but you can brawl everything else here and so we've got we've got a bunch, you know, we've got uh like um don't have any drone assembly out here. Do we have any drone gathering? I'm looking. I don't see any. Uh drone surveillance. Yeah, we have a few of those. And so we can give that a shot. Now, I'm thinking that on the drone surveillance, it's a lot of little stuff. And so being at distance and, um, and sniping with, like, curators, probably it'd be good. Uh, probably take them out pretty quickly. Although the smart bombing these sites can go really fast but you end up with even a praxis version of a smart bomber is like 1.5 billion and you're looking at like i don't know almost 3 billion on a mercurial so you know let's see let's warp to 50 at it see how that feels and you know just see how how well it cuts through the site which i think it'll do really well um, and this, these sites won't pay very much. They have very rarely have any loot. Uh, they can escalate. I have never gotten one of these escalations before, ever. And so, but according to Eve University, they can escalate. And I am too far away. That is, that is, is that out of my range? 57. Yeah, that's just really out of my range. So, here, let's uh, warp back up here. Warp drive active. And that was warping in at 50, which put me really at like around 70 out from him. That's pretty far. I really need to be like 50 out from them, the way this is set up. So then what, warp in at 30? Guess maybe that's what I can try. Probably warping in at 30. Drive active. And we'll see how that uh, how that feels.
Yeah, I forgot with those turrets there, I have to be closer. I can't just wait for stuff to fly to me. I have to be able to hit them. My drones can't hit beyond 60. Or at least they won't target anything beyond 60. There we go. We warped in at 30. And that's just right. Right. Oops, I don't, don't didn't mean to do that cargo container. How are the drones doing out here on these? It's their optimal. 53, he's 51, so they're hitting him kind of full strength. And I want to keep him off of that one for the moment. That's the last one we hit, because that's the trigger. There we go. Now we can hit that guy. There we go. See, look at all that small stuff. You want to get rid of all that small stuff. I don't know what my drones are shooting at, but... Seems like it's working fine so far. So, talking about Megathron Navy issue, can shoot really far, but is, uh, yeah, well you have to, but it's, you know, naturally can't uh, target that far. You have to um, put in target range extenders. You just have to. So it's taken out all of these nice and easy. They're still all a fair distance away. coming at me quite quickly though they want my drones damn I ended up getting some of the bigger ships targeted first these guys get too close and I won't be able to hit them that these get going before I start targeting the others. I always want to shoot the smallest first. I'm 
And Omega Thrawn, you honestly don't need over, over, uh, you know, much more than a hundred. You know, you just stay a hundred out. You're doing really good if you can snipe things. Um, but you won't hit as hard. And so you can do the same with like the Raven. Um, and the Roke. The Roke. I have one that does, that targets at 300 and shoots at 300. It's insane. But it only hits at like 400, maybe 450 DPS. So it's not real high. But it is pretty insane. It's a nice sniper so that you can, you know, pick on stuff from from far away. But anything that's that far away is more of like a meme fit unless you've got a whole fleet or something. Because a fleet of those then would become really deadly. Um, but just one? Nah, it's not enough. Really had to rep my shields at all. This. I mean, they've hit me a couple of times, but not really hurting at all. That's the site. Hmm. Try another one. I really would like to see what the escalation is off of this. I don't think it'll pay very well or anything, but I don't know that I've ever done it before. Although the one yesterday, the infested mine, um, it was four of 10 and I didn't expect it to pay very well and it actually paid really well. I, that was just really lucky, though, I think. It wasn't, wasn't um, something where, you know. Okay, so this is closer. Um, move away from a little bit. It just depends on what direction you're coming in from as to how close you land. So there's just like this randomness to it. I do not fly very fast in this either.
Alright, well, I guess that I'm just going to stop here, deploy these. I have to be a little bit more aggressive on getting the small stuff first. If it gets too close, what I have to do is pull in my drones and pull out my acolytes, which is fine. But, you know, it certainly hurt any efficiency. Jay, hello? It's still an okay distance. It's holding up just fine. We may do one more of these and then if we're still not getting don't get any sort of escalation or something interesting move on to something different i you know eve university says that there's escalations possible from these sites but i've never seen one and i've done quite a few i mean i don't do them all the time but just in fun when i want to go out and shoot things usually smart bombs on these sites, which are pretty spectacular.
after the easier ones first. There it goes. I'm like, why is that one not being targeted? I am not a targeter. So, no good loot, extra loot or anything. One more, and then we just call these good, I guess. There are two different types of these. There's the other ones where there's a little station. They all spawn right off a little nub on the station too. They kind of bounce off of it. So it's a little, there's a smart bomb spot on it as well. This one kind of fell in right at the right distance. Ooh, whole 3.9 million bounty, which off of these sites actually, I, I guess, isn't too bad. These sites don't take very long. I haven't even been timing them. What are they, about six minutes? Something like that. Kind of suspect.
I just I haven't worried too much about what the drones are shooting at because we've been clearing all these out. Plenty of time, plenty of space, should I say? It's not about time; it's about space with these. As long as uh, the rats are within 50, the auto targeter will pick them up. Beyond 50, it can be questionable. And all of them seem to be aggressive, and so the drones are just auto shooting. Some of these sites, sometimes some of them will just yellow box and not shoot at anything, and the drones won't uh, won't engage. Might be the last wave. No. There's another one. Okay. So, did uh, any of you happen to notice about the AI breakthrough that Google made? It's something that um, the president of NVIDIA mentioned a year ago which is going to have a huge impact on video games. And uh, that is a video game without an engine. And so uh, Google replicated the game Doom without an engine. They're calling, <laughs> they're calling their uh, setup or whatnot, they're calling it N uh in in gen and uh like e n capital n g e n or whatever it, you know it's like for neural uh generation and all right we didn't get anything off of this and it's pretty interesting because um they're able to play doom they taught they taught the a i how to make a Doom game and and to auto-generate all the levels and everything and um, how, to, how to make it all work right without a game engine. And uh, one of the reasons to do Doom is because uh, you can do smaller screen resolutions and stuff, but it's all being done with AI. And... So it's pretty incredible, and, and what it means for the future is that uh, we could see, we could actually see games that are, um, that are completely fabricated off of NPUs uh, and, and driven by an NPU. And what I mean by NPU is Neural Processing Unit, which is a little bit different than a GPU, which is graphics processing unit. Graphics processing unit has been very good for AI. Neural processing unit is better. And uh, it is very specifically for AI. Uh, new Intel CPUs 
that have the word ultra in the name have an NPU on them. And uh, it's something like 43 trillion instructions per second on an NPU. So it's just massive. And uh, so you all may be able to make a game and then just tell the AI to save this and to use these parameters and run it for other people. And other people will have a different experience though because it's not structured. It's really wild. It's really, really wild. And it's, it's actually pretty exciting stuff. So, um, yeah. Right. So, hello, Tanker. So, Drone Menagerie, which I haven't seen any of those in here. Um, and then Drone Herd. So the herds, I don't know how much, um, uh, let's see, they're considered a seven of 10 and they, they do a five of 10 escalation. Well, let's warp in at 50 on one and okay. see, um, see how it, how it feels. So we've also we've always had like procedurally generated stuff, you know, some different games, even like Minecraft. It'll make the ma the map is kind of procedurally generated. Um, but um, with the AI stuff, it could make it up on the fly. Let's see here. We are kind of at the right range. Let's try it. He's being a little bit hard to hit. Is he out? Yeah, 57 is kind of my max here. 44 is optimal, so I'm not hitting him quite as hard till they get closer. let my auto targeter pick everything up oh those are a bit further away all right Nibus Thank you for the support. See you in space. Yep. Sounds good to me. Oh, these are a little far out. All right, let's see here. Maybe I should be shooting at this one. It's within my range. The others here, they're just kind of, just a little bit outside of my range. In fact, they're outside of my drone's range now too. Could have warped in at 40, it probably would have been more effective.
a little bit wasteful because because they're just a little bit out, out of my range. I mean, I got plenty of ammo, but it's just, it is a little bit wasteful. Yeah, look at how far out some of that is. This um this one actually looks like you know it might be a good brawl just from the stuff that's spawning. Although I'm afraid you might land right in the middle of the that rock there. Might give you some heartburn. Man, Tanker, you got told like the dragon's your mother. That's way far out for me to hit. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to hit him. Oh, I did. How about that? Let's say maybe the next one I warp in at like 10 or something like that. Maybe 20. might be the perfect distance. I think we could clear these pretty quick brawling them. Um, I don't know what the bounties are in these are, half a million. What would be my tips for starting an Eve brand name? Like, I, I'm not sure what you mean by a brand name. Like a, a service in game, like hauling or something, where you use a name to kind of brand yourself. What what are you uh, what are you getting at with that? These kind of they kind of spawn all over the place. I don't know if these are going to be very good to do at all. Keep spawning all over the place. Might end up switching between distance and close.
This one could be a lot more efficient. All right, got that. Um, no escalation, obviously, otherwise it would have been a pop-up. We're been at 10. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work out or not. Find out. I'm going to try and brawl it. Like the brand they got going with, with Marky Dragon and the services you provide with it. So you're talking real life business. Close this is. This is a different type, too. Um, all right. Well, here we go. Let's take out these couple and then bring it out Praetors. So the uh, the play money film, I don't know that it's available anymore. It may be listed there, but I think it says you can't buy it. Um, yeah, Marky Dragon was just always my character name and somehow it became the business name too, which was probably not the greatest choice because, you know, it can get confused, confusing as to whether you're referring to Marky Dragon, the fictional character, or sometimes people call it me that in real life, or the business. Uh, for, for real life businesses, I've always felt that your company name should invoke an image of what it is that you do. Or that the company does. That helps in a lot of areas. One with recognition. Someone saying, oh hey, oh hey, this is the wrong type of ammo for this. They're too far out. See, that's what I was worried about. Um, twofold. One, you know, it it's what you are and gives visions of that. But then it also is, you know, um, domain name should be the same thing. And Helps with the keywords and everything. Movie is supposedly available on Canopy. I've never heard of Canopy before. Is Canopy legit? Is that like some pirate service? Canopy is legitimate. All right, so is the movie actually there? So like ad supported? Or do you have to buy it? The problem with buying shit, I mean, just rent stuff because um, I can tell you that movies I've purchased have just disappeared. 
service as a service disappears or like uh, you know the um, the the place that you bought it from that was streaming it loses the rights to it and then they remove it but you've already bought it you don't really own it it's just like a long-term rental until they decide it's not available anymore <laughs> Oh, it's through library access? So what, they give you a DVD or some shit like that? Yeah, nothing, nothing left over on that one. Okay, we're just gonna work right into the sucker. Drive active. This next one, no space. It's a streaming service, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I gotta talk to Anthony, he's a producer. I gotta get it available. Fuck man, maybe I just get it put up on my YouTube channel. God, I worked in at zero and I'm still this far away from him. Amazing. I'm an equal opportunity ass kicker. Love on. 22 just subscribed. Make that raid good now. Hmm. Yeah. That's 104 months. Oh, at tier three, too. Man. All right. Yep, it's going to be good. 41,600. Good. Forty-one thousand six hundred gold to everybody here in Levon's honor. Awesome support. Thank you, buddy. Much appreciated. And then we'll uh, see what Dolly's thinking. We'll make a Caldari version of you. God, I I warped in closer and they're further away even. They pulse or beam. I think they're pulse. Yeah, they're pulse. You, sir, rock. Right, uh -oh. you in just subscribed for 12 months. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh-oh. is not stable on this, no. All right. So. I tried to make, I tried to make a, uh, you know, Caldari version 
for Levon here, but because Kalar Union Day. But I gotta say that the Minmatar version of Levon looks much better. It's, uh, he's looking mighty Minmatar there. Oh, you got 22, like on your name. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna put this one up. I mean, if you want the Kaldari version, I'll put that up, but uh, I think the Minmatar version looks much better. So, yeah. All right, let's see here. So we got a hype train started. Um, oh yeah, and it went straight into, uh, we've got a hype train one complete. And that's because Levon is tier three. And so uh, there is gonna be a giveaway, exclamation point giveaway. And whenever the hype train ends, I think it's gonna be a procure load strike skin. I think that's the lowest one we got. And uh, then we got Roy to fix up here too. Roy, 12 months. All right, and we finished that. Is there no loot, no escalation, no nothing? Oh, nice. Dragons love gold Jack treasure wagon. and of course, dollar bills. Quagon just cheered 1000 bits. Oh yeah, another dragon boarding the train. All aboard? Choo choo. Music Tanker gifted one subscriptions to the community. I don't know, man. That truck was trying to turn right there. I heard a bunch of something out there. Shit ain't gonna happen. So, all right, let me uh, let me go dock up because there's too much going on here. If you're watching on YouTube, we'll see you in the next episode.